we're going to have a look at prime factorization, which is a process by which we basically break a number up into products of factors until you can't break it up any further. Let me show you what I mean by an example. If you're asked to write 120 as a product of prime factors, what we're going to do is start breaking 120 up into factors, pairs of factors. So let's look at 120 and I'm going to choose any two numbers that multiply together to give me 120. So whole numbers, obviously. So it's going to be, for example, I'm going to choose 12, 10 times 12. You could choose 40 times 3. You could choose any two numbers that multiply together to give you 120. Um, doesn't matter what you start with. We'll all end up in the same place. OK, I then have a look at 10 and 12 and I say, can these be broken down any further into factors? Um, and yes, 10 can. It can be written as 2 multiplied by 5. Now I look at 2 and 5. Can that be broken down any further into factors? Well, 2 is a prime number. It can obviously be written as 2 times 1, but that's not really any new factors, right? And similarly, 5, there are no other factors other than 5 and 1 um, that are factors of 5. So their prime numbers can't be broken down any further, so we just put a circle around them. 12. Can that be broken down further? Yes, it can, and it can in a couple of ways. I'm going to use 2 multiplied by 6 gives me 12. I then look at 2. That's a prime number, can't be broken down any further. And at 6, well, that can be broken down into 2 multiplied by 3. And 2 and 3 are both primes, can't be broken down any further. Now, the bottom layer is all got the red circle around, so we're at a point there where everything is as broken down as it can be. You can't actually find another different pair of factors um, for any of those numbers. So we are now in the position where we can say 120 is equal to 2 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 3. And we can just clean that up and write the factors nicely in order. And we could also even write it using exponential notation. How does any of that help me? Well, what we know is that 120 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Those are the basic building blocks of 120. Those are the prime factors of 120 and there aren't any other prime factors. So if I asked you, for example, does 7 divide into 120 with no remainder, you can immediately see it doesn't because there isn't that prime number 7 sitting in the basic building blocks of 120. Similarly, if I ask is 120 divisible by 9, that means can 9 divide into 120 with no remainder, I can see that Inside the building blocks of 120, there's only a 3, but 9 is made up of 3 times 3. And because there isn't a 3 times 3 in the building blocks of 120, the answer is no. 120 is not divisible by 9. But if I asked, is 120 divisible by 24? If you have a look, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. So sitting there inside, made up of those building blocks um, of 120, is the number 24. And so yes, 120 is divisible by 24.